guys, it's Melanie. Welcome to my channel. Today I have a massive Owl Crate and Owl Crate Junior unboxing for you. So stay tuned. As you can see, I have a massive stack of Owl Crate and Owl Crate Junior boxes to unbox for you. I have four Owl Crate Junior and three Owl Crates. And I think it happened because one of the Owl Crate Juniors has arrived and the Owl Crate just hasn't gotten here yet. But we're not waiting any longer. It's time to unbox these. And I will be doing it by myself this time. Xander is not wanting to do the unboxing with me for this. So it's just gonna be me today and I'm gonna start out with the Owl Crate Juniors and then move on to the regular Owl Crate. So if you would like to see just the regular Owl Crate, I'll have a timestamp down in the description that you can click on to skip past the Owl Crate Junior boxes. All right, let's get into this first box. Okay, so I don't know what order these boxes are in. I just kind of stacked them up here. So here is the first box. It looks like so. Okay, so this was the March 2019 box, Birds of a Feather. Cute. Okay, I see something cute inside already. But first I gotta get all these worms out of the way. Okay, so that first thing that I saw that's super cute is this super soft, adorable little owl plushie. I mean, how cute is he? If y'all hear any like noise going on, that's my cats acting crazy. Man, as soon as I get started recording, <laughs> my battery starts flashing red. Okay, so sorry if there's an angle change, but I had to change my battery. Okay, so the next thing in here is Tropical Birds Scented Scratch Snickers. Let's try that again. Tropical Birds Scented Scratch Stickers. Eight die cut stickers and two sticker sheets. Oh, that's fine. They're pineapple scented. There's a lot of stickers in there. Xander will really like that. He loves stickers. <laughs> He's also really gonna love this because he, he likes a bunch of different kinds of pins and he thinks the really interesting ones are the best. This one is a flamingo. I mean, how stinking cute is that? And it has a super, super fine tip, which he loves. They have a little card here. Let's see how it writes. Oh, yes. Very fine. He's going to love that. All right, then we've got our pen, which is always something from the card. So we have this little bird. They're going nuts. Bird matches this bird. And this box actually has two books, which is really cool. So we have the National Geographic Kids Ultimate Explorer Field Guide on birds. Pretty darn cool. You know, these cats, they nap all day and they're calm and they're quiet. And then I start filming and they just go berserk. It's like children when you're on the phone. <laughs> Okay, next we have a little keychain. It looks like a parrot. There we go. And then we get to the book, which is The Simple Art of Flying. Well, this is really cool. Usually, um, the Alcrate Junior books don't come with like signed book plates or signed or anything. And this one actually does come with a signed book plate. And then we have the letter from the author, which says, From the desk of Corey Leonardo. My dear Alcrate Junior book eaters, slash that, readers. This is a tale of two parrots. One, exceedingly good. The other, I'm sorry to tell you, is trouble. I warn you, you may need to think twice before you open these pages. He's been known to bite. But it's also the story of a boy named Fritz about his worries and dreams and persistent hope, and about a stubborn old woman named Birdie, who proves that no matter how young or old we are, there's so much story left to be lived. There's just one more thing you need to know. That bird, he's got a thing for poetry. And by thing, I mean he eats it. 
gobbles it down. He's a big fan of Shakespeare, but give him your math homework and he's liable to spit it out. There's something a little fishy about algebra. But go ahead now, dig in, and as always, happy eating slash that reading. Apologies, I left this letter for one minute and it seems Alistair has eaten my signature. He said it was bland and not at all very interesting. See, that's cute. It's missing the corner there. And then of course we've got the little magazine, which has the interview from the author. If you like The Simple Art of Flying, you can try these other reads. How to Draw a Parrot. Oh, well this is something new. Instead of an interview with the vendor, they did a subscriber feature. That's really neat. And then the April theme was Crack the Code. Okay, now on to the next box. Okay, this one looks like this. So the theme for February was Lost and Found. Ooh, this box smells good. So right on top we have a bath bomb. This is Whipped Up Wonderful. Remember all bath bomb. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. It's a Harry Potter thing. And it's red with like some gold glitter. It doesn't say what the scent is, but it smells really good. Looks like that. It's a good size. I think Xander would like that. I would also like that, but I'm not gonna take it. <laughs> All right, had to clear out some worms. Now we have a bookmark that says found between the pages. And on the other side it says lost a book. So it looks like this. It has a little tassel. And the other side looks like this. And then our pen here. Okay, next is this little banner thing. And it's not really something that I think he would like, but it's definitely something that I would like. So yeah, I'm totally gonna claim this. And it says, not all those who wonder are lost. I like this a lot. Oh, and this one has two books in it as well. Awesome. And you know, <laughs> when the theme is lost and found, you gotta have Waldo. This is a uh, Where's Waldo at Games on the Go, puzzles, activities, and searches with a fold out board game. And it has like the little elastic strap here. So you open it up. And we got the cool little activity book. And I guess here's the fold out board game. That's awesome. And then the book is The Lost Girl by Anne Ursu. This also has a signed book plate. Okay, so this came with a letter from the author and a little black and white maze book. So there's like a little bunch of different little mazes in it. That's cute. And the letter says, Dear Reader, when I was a kid, I read all the time, and I so wish Alcrate had been around back then. I'm delighted it exists now and thrilled to have my book in your box. The Lost Girl is about many things, identical twins, a strange antique shop, and things that go missing. It has a little bit of mystery and a little bit of magic and some crows. I really hope you enjoy it. <laughs> and then they put a little star, lots of crows. And then again, the magazine. We have interview with the author, a little crossword puzzle, interview with the vendor of the bath bombs. And now the next box. And they redid the boxes, so this is one of their newer ones. And I think it is so cute. I love it. Okay, opening this one up. And it looks like so. So this is the May box, and the theme was Rebels and Rule Breakers. Again, gotta get rid of these worms. Okay, so the first thing I see in here is, um, what? It's a finger puppet? 
and a fridge magnet. It it says it's supposed to be Rosa Park. I, I don't really get that, but here we go. But shows you Rosa Parks here and it tells about her in there. Then we got a pen from the card that's the back of their jacket that says read all night. If he was allowed to stay up and read all night, that would be the time that he would most want to read. Because he does not like to go to sleep when he's supposed to. Okay, next we have another pen that says I am the next great Polly Fink. It's possible this is book related. And then there's a really cool keychain. It's Harry Potter. And it's uh, for Gringotts. This is really cool looking. I think he'll really like that. I mean, he doesn't have keys, but <laughs> he likes keychains. That was supposed to be a Galleon keychain. Enchanted Galleon keychain. Next, we have this really cool neon uh, see-through ruler. I mean, it almost looks like it glows. And it says, make your own rules. And again, this came with two books. This one came with Pippi Longstocking. Just the gate of Villa Vilcula opened and a little girl stepped out. She was the most remarkable girl Tommy and Anika had ever seen. She was Mrs. Pippi Longstocking. And there's art. It has deckled edges. Oh, remember that pen? It was book related. So the book is called The Next Great Polly Fink by Allie Benjamin. And it says, this is how you become a legend. This one also has a signed book plate and a letter from the author. It says, from the desk of Polly Fink. Why, hello there, Al Crate Jr. Reader. Question. What do reality TV stars, Greek gods, rascally goats, fruit flies, William Shakespeare, nose-picking jokes, and high-stakes soccer games that gets very, very weird all have in common? Answer. Until now, possibly nothing. But they all come together in the next great Polly Fink, a story about a prankster who becomes a legend at his school. A quirky academy where kids wrestle like zombies, discuss ancient philosophy, and dance their way through the day. I hope you'll find these pages a healthy dose of laughter, a handful of big ideas, and a whole bunch of new friends. Here's to being a kid now and always. And then the magazine. We have an interview with the author. Another crossword puzzle. An interview with a rep. And June's theme is time travel. It says, get ready to take a giant leap through time this June. Next month's book pick is an exciting historical fantasy full of time travel, danger, and ancient battles. This book is perfect for fans of The Explorer, The Night Garden, and Alice Utley's classic, A Traveler in Time. And inside the box is just so much fun looking. So bright and colorful. Okay, and now for the last Alcrate Jr. So I guess this is the April box, because the one we just opened was the May box. So this one looks like this. Okay, so April was Crack the Code. Gotta get rid of all these worms. Okay, first thing I see here is Canoodle. A caboodle of brain teasing puzzles. Now with 200 new puzzles. Okay. Looks like that. Here's the back. So I guess it comes with all these different little balls and stuff. It says construct caboodles of 2D and 3D puzzles with this brain twisting solitaire game. Pick a puzzle from the book, set up the challenge, and then place the remaining pieces to solve the puzzle. Hundreds of possible combinations, but only one completes the puzzle. Huh. Well, that's neat. I think he'll like that. 
Wow, again with two books. I mean, I hope this is a new thing that they're going to be doing. I think this is awesome. They've, they're they really stepping up their game with the Alcrate Juniors. So, the not main book, the extra book, I guess, is 100 Logic Puzzles. Fun. Again, I think he'll really like this. Then we have a bookmark from A Wrinkle in Time. It says, just because we don't understand doesn't mean that the explanation doesn't exist. And then there's something else that kind of looks like a book, but it's really thin. So maybe it's like a notebook. Oh, it has a really cool feel to it. Oh yeah, it's just a lined notebook. It looks like this on the front. Has a little Alcrate Junior on the back. That's really cute. I like that. He really likes journals and all of that. Okay, then there is this little tiny manila envelope. It looks like that. It has the Alcrate Junior sticker on it. So we have, I think it's called a Brad. Here. <laughs> That's all that was in the envelope, but I see something I think it goes to. So it says, check out this month's magazine for instructions on how to make and use your super secret cipher wheel. So yes, you need this little thing there. And I guess you cut out all of this and put it together and hold it together in the middle with this. Don't want to lose that. And then our pen here actually matches something on the desk. And the book is Greystone Secrets, The Strangers by Margaret Peterson Haddix. Okay, again, we got a signed book plate, a letter from the author, and there's like some little puzzles here to solve. Much like riddles and word puzzles and stuff. So the letter says, Dear Alcrate Junior Readers, part of this letter is going to look like gibberish because Chess, Emma, and Finn get a letter like that in The Strangers, but I'm sure you can figure it out. The Strangers is about secret doors, mysterious code, a missing mother, and four very determined kids. Then there's the gibberish, and there's like a little code to break it down on the bottom there. The end pages of this are really pretty. And then the magazine. We got an interview with the author. How to make the little cipher wheel. Interview with an artist. And he's the artist that did the little journal. Now on to the owl crate boxes. Again, these boxes aren't in any kind of order. It's just kind of how I stacked them up here. Okay. This one looks like so. It's quite heavy. So this was the March 2019 box. And the theme was Murder and Mayhem. I like that card. And then whatever this item is. Oh, this is nice. So it's like a little drawstring backpack. And it has like little skulls and poison and knives and leaves on it. And it's got like a leathery kind of bottom. Oh, and inside... There's like a little extra pouch with a zipper. This is really nice. And gotta move some worms. Okay, then we have a candle. And this candle is from the Savage Song. And it says here, Are you brave enough to face the murderous monsters within the city of Verity? In the wick of time has created three different exclusive candles inspired by the monsters from this Savage Song. Which creature did you receive? And I got Malachi. And it's just white. Oh, it smells really good. The scent is pomegranate. And then, it looks like we have a mug in here. Oh, and the design matches the little bag here. And it says, never flinch, never fear, never forget. Join the ranks of the assassins of the Red Church with your very own travel mug, inspired by Nevernight by Jay Kristoff. 
I haven't read that. I think I started to listen to the audiobook one day a long time ago, and I wasn't following it just because, I don't know, I think maybe it was one that needed to be physically read, and then I just never got around to reading it. So it has like a little rubber thing around it, but it's really pretty without. So it says, never flinch, never fear, never forget. And that is really a pretty, pretty travel mug. And it's like ceramic with the rubbery lid. And it says, if there's one fictional family who knows murder better than any other, it's the Stark family from Game of Thrones. Ink and Wonder Designs created this exclusive wooden bookmark in honor of these resilient characters. And it looks like so. And it says, when the snows fall and the white winds blow, the lone wolf dies by the pack, but the pack survives. And then we have a vinyl sticker. It says, I want revenge and then I want my crown. And this is from Three Dark Crowns. Okay, so there are a couple other things, but they're um, related to the book. So we'll go for the book next. And that is Four Dead Queens by Astrid Scaholt. This has beautiful deckled edges. Ooh. Map. And it is signed. We have the letter from the author and this little print that says Four Dead Queens and it has each of the queens. We have Cora, Iris, Marguerite, and Stessa. And then the letter from the author says, Dearest Alcrate readers, you are cordially invited to Quadara, a nation divided into four distinct regions, ruled by four very different queens governing from the same court, together yet apart. I was inspired to write a fantasy novel with a predominantly female cast with strong, complex queens who are supportive of each other. It was important that each queen had her own voice, her own story, her own wants and dreams before they were killed. Four Dead Queens is my debut novel and I'm so thrilled to be sharing it with you. I've been a fan of whodunits ever since I was a kid and I wanted to write an Agatha Christie style murder mystery but set in a fantasy world. The initial spark came from a dream. I was sitting in a horse-drawn carriage wearing an elaborate dress from the Victorian era as a sleek silver car sped by. When I woke, I wondered why a world would have such contrasting technologies. Shortly thereafter, an image popped into my head and four queens sitting back to back in a circle within a golden palace, all the while discussing a murder. The MC, Corelli, came to me next. She's charming, rash, and will steal your possessions, and maybe your heart, without you even realizing it. Get in quick, get out quicker, is the main rule Carolee lives by. I hope that Four Dead Queens captures your heart as quickly, but that you'll never want to leave. Long live the Queens. That is a pretty cover too. Very shiny. And then the other items that were book related, we have a pencil that says Four Dead Queens and it says One Conspiracy. And then we have the monthly enamel pen that was inspired by the Four Quadrants. It's a compass and it is really pretty. Oh, that is cool. So the little arrow on the compass actually will spin which I think is pretty neat. And then the little magazine, we've got an interview with the author. It shows you the regular version, regular cover and the Alcrate cover. One's blue, one's red. I like the red just fine. A little just for fun. Interview with the uh, Ink and Wonder Designs. Okay, now on to the next box. This one looks like so. 
This was the February box and the theme was Whimsical Beasts. Gotta get rid of those worms. <laughs> okay, well, this first item is definitely one that'll have to wait until colder times because, well, it's hot now and this is more for winter. And so we have this cute little beanie that's got unicorns on it, I think. Yeah, and then it says Accio Books. And I got the little owl crate tag. Is it me? I don't really wear beanies, but <laughs> what do you think? Comment down below and let me know. Okay, next we've got an umbrella. Ella, Ella, hey. Okay. So the umbrella is inspired by Harry Potter. And so it's got all these magical beans. Oh. Okay. Oh, this is so cool. Try to show you some of the designs on here. It's beautiful. See, an umbrella is definitely something I can use right now. I'm needing another umbrella. Okay, next we have a bar of soap. It says Pixie Dust Crystal Soap, an Alcrate exclusive by. Lilu's and it doesn't really have a smell. It's shaped like a crystal and it's green with like glitter throughout. Oh, I know which box this is. And it's already a book that I have gotten twice. I got an arc of it, I think at Y'all Fest. And then I got it in another box. I'll let you know when I get to that. But I just happened to see. Okay, so this is a Haku Dragon keychain. This was inspired by Spirited Away. I don't know that I know that book. Okay, so there is an extra book in here, which is kind of cool. But it's a very short book. It's like maybe 70 pages. But it is The Tea Dragon Society by Katie O'Neill. And it's a really cute, like super cutesy graphic novel. It says, from the author of the award-winning Princess Princess Ever After comes The Tea Dragon Society, a charming fairy tale about Greta an adventurous blacksmith apprentice, and the people she meets as she becomes entwined in the enchanting world of tea dragons. After discovering a lost tea dragon in the marketplace, Greta learns about the dying art form of tea dragon caretaking from the kind tea shop owners, High School and Eric. As she befriends them and their shy ward, Minette, Greta sees how the craft enriches their lives and eventually her own. And then there's an item that's book related, but I'll show you the book first. And that is Crown of Feathers by Nikki Pal Preto. Interesting cover, because I have the original and this one, so I think I kind of like the original one better. Okay, so a couple of goodies. We have this feather bookmark. It says, sometimes the title of queen is given, sometimes it must be taken. And it's got like this rope twine thing here. And this is what the cover looks like. Ooh. Hmm. Okay, I said that I like the original cover better, but this one has sprayed edges. And I really, really like sprayed edges. They're so pretty. And uh, I'm thinking, you know, if I put the cover from the other one, I think this cover would actually work better. 
with the purple edges because there's purple in here and I don't think there was a, much purple in the original cover. I'll have to look in the little magazine. But oh, that is so pretty. I like that. And then the book is also purple. And I kind of can't tell if her signature is purple or if it's red. But there's the signature. We got us a map. It looks like throughout you have things like post-mortem ex examination. And, well, other things like that. So our little map is also on the card with the letter from the author that says, Dear Reader, I started writing Crown of Feathers during a low point in my life. Isn't this always how the story goes? I had experienced a lot of failures consecutively, and I needed to reconnect with my love of writing. I started revisiting some of my all-time favorite reads, like Tamora Pierce's Tortall books, which had shaped me as a reader and a writer, and I knew I wanted to recreate the feeling I had when I lost myself in those kinds of worlds. It was during that time that Crown of Feathers really took shape, and it's easy to see how hope and perseverance became central themes to the book, as well as the influence of Tortall in my main character, Veronica. She goes through so much, but never loses sight of who she is and what she wants. She is inherently, unflappably good, just like Tamora Pierce's heroines before her. I hope with all my heart that Crown of Feathers becomes a beloved favorite for you, that you can lose yourself in its pages the way I lost myself in the books that inspired it. Nikki. And then the monthly enamel pin was Official Phoenix Rider Club. which I know has to do with the book. And then the little magazine, we have the interview with the author. This shows you also the difference between the Alcrate version and the original version. Now, by themselves, I would go for the original version. But with those sprayed edges, I do like the Alcrate version. Then we have like a word search, uh, interview with an illustrator. It's the one who illustrated the umbrella. On to the last box. All right, this looks like so. So this is their April box and the theme was the dark side. I think I actually just got an email the other day saying that my mail, my May Alcrate box is on its way. That'll just be in my next one. Okay, get rid of these worms. So I'm seeing a theme with these enamel pins. It seems like they're all to do with whatever book is in the box. So I'm going to save those until after we get to the actual book. Okay, so the first thing I see here is a pop socket that says, Plenty of Monsters Knew How to Play at Being Human. And this is by Vicious by V.E. Schwab. And then we have... The Six of Crow Socks by Out of Print. So they look like this. Cute. I love wearables. Okay, and then there's a little banner here, which I'm probably going to give this to Xander because I decided I was going to take the uh, Those Who Wander Are Not Lost or something like that. Not all those who wander are lost. Since I'm taking this one, I'm gonna give him this little banner and it's for hanging your pins on. And I know he has quite a pin collection as well, so he can use this. Oh, something fabric-y. Ooh, very soft. I think it's a scarf. It's a really cool looking scarf. This says, get nice and cozy with the Darkling while wearing your exclusive scarf inspired by the Grishaverse. This beautiful design was created by Bookmarked Tattoos. I really, really like this scarf. And hello, it goes with my hair. <laughs> it's so soft though. I'm not a huge scarf person, but I really, really like this. Okay, then we have a chapter sampler for Finale by Stephanie Garber. 
which I also ordered the Owl Crate special edition box that came with Finale and a bunch of Carval related goodies. So I don't really need this. I can pass it on to somebody else. Then we have this absolutely gorgeous hardcover notebook. Uh, and there's a quote on it that says, This witch had been crafted from the darkness between the stars. Sarah J. Mass or Moss. And it's just lined paper. But it's really, really nice. I like that. Okay, battery's dying. Got to change it out again. Hold on. Okay, the rest of the items other than the book are book related. So we're going to go to the book now. And that is... Wicked Saints by Emily A. Duncan. And I have seen both the original and the Owl Crate covers. And I particularly love the black and red. I like the Owl Crate version better. This also has deckled edges. I mean, isn't that pretty? Ooh. And these end pages. Ooh. Let them fear her. And then it's signed there. And then we have the letter from the author that says, Dear Reader, I'm thrilled to be a part of this month's box and for you to enter the cold and bloody world of wicked saints. When I set out to write this book, I truly just wanted to create something that had all the things I loved in it. So Wicked Saints became a combination of my love for video games, metal music, and Slavic folklore. But moreover, it became a study of faith and hearsay, and the act of reconciling differences with people who have lived very different lives from yours. I am so excited for you to meet Nadia, a peasant girl who talks to the gods and who is delightfully stubborn and impulsive. Seraphin, a prince with a penchant for drink and complaining, and melodrama. And Malachi, a boy whose earnest anxiety hides monstrous secrets. Wicked Saints is my love letter to villains and monsters. It's a love letter to ridiculous boys who make bad choices. But most importantly, it's a love letter to all the girls who have ever questioned, who have ever doubted, to all the girls who make messy decisions, keep asking questions. Emily A. Duncan. And then the other items in the box, we have the monthly enamel pin, which says iron must be tested. And then we have this little silky fabric thing. It's a map for Wicked Saints. And then the little magazine here. We have the interview with the author. Here's the difference between the Owl Crate and the original. I prefer the Owl Crate. I just think it looks cooler. Uh, word search. An interview with a designer. Oh, she designed the banner. And then it tells a little bit about May. May's theme is Epic Adventures. Every May box will include an exclusive item designed by KDP Letters. It says, It's time to pack your bags and head off on the road less traveled. Our May box is all about exciting journeys. Our book pick is a very highly anticipated fantasy debut full of dark magic, scorching deserts, forests filled with dangerous shadows, and a group of unlikely allies. It features lush storytelling and a world inspired by ancient Arabia. We'll be including a gorgeous Owl Crate exclusive edition, which will be signed by the author. You'll also find fun and useful items inspired by stories such as Stardust, Howl's Moving Castle, A Court of Mist and Fury, A Darker Shade of Magic, and The Hobbit. Every box will also include an exclusive item designed by the talented KDP Letters. Alright, well that's it guys. What was your favorite item out of all of these boxes? Or... Have you read any of these books yet? Comment down below and let me know. I think, gosh, I think maybe my favorite item out of the 
owl crate boxes is either my umbrella or this scarf. I really like this scarf. And out of the owl crate junior, I'd either have to go with the bath bomb, which smells really good, or this canoodle game, because I think, I think it's really cool. And I think Xander will really enjoy it. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, click that subscribe button down below. And until next time, remember to always be completely you.